So our 12 pound amphibious radio control vehicle. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser uh, LC70. I know that Jeremy crossed in a Nissan, but the first one he did was a Toyota uh, on the first attempt. So this is my mix and tribute to the old Top Gear Toyota. Have a look across the pond. A little wavy today. I figured perfect scale waves for the almost one city block that we have to travel. Testing. Good, here we go. There's a lot more water after the rain we had. It's a good thing. Good luck, Toyota. Nice and close. Let's see if we can get it to float. Okay, it's in there. Okay, my friends, here we go. Let's engage the outboard motor. I did adjust the, uh, the uh, prop level, as you can see. But here, let me bring it around for you guys to see this because we all talked about adjusting the prop level and this is what you get. Instead of uh, a nice float like we had, you can see when there's too much throttle, the nose actually starts sinking under. So we're not getting a lot of float there, right? So instead what we're going to do today is set it on a constant velocity on my radio so it's just going one speed and we're going to let it start to go across. Good luck, Toy Boda. This is your journey, buddy. And away he goes. Jem, what do you think of this build? I think it's fairly, fairly awesome. Pretty unique? It's very unique. I love Top Gear. I've been a huge fan since I was a... Sorry, guys, since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've I see. always loved it. It looks like uh, we're actually doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. We do have quite a distance to travel, so we're gonna let it go on about itself and we're gonna start walking around to the other side while we monitor this going across the lake. What a journey. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I do. What do you think? It's going, it's going, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Toy Boda, go Toy Boda. I'm cheering you on, mate. Still going. That looks so rad. I wonder if we have any water in the back. I did put in a pump. There, it's shooting water out of the back right now. I gotta get in on that. I know, it's because I have a water cannon shooting off the front. We did an update in the last build video. That's so awesome. Okay, I wanna run up ahead. Give me yeah, a minute. Yeah, run up ahead. Dad? Yeah, over here, over here. Holy cow, it's gonna make it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and that's the thing, I can't have it too fast or it starts to plow the water. But this is definitely working, guys. Constant speed. I can't believe it. Plus, we also have scale waves, too. This is perfect. Dedication and perseverance working towards the cause. <laughs> Holy cow. Do you I... feel you lost signal while we were running across? No, actually, and that's why I used an, uh, an aircraft receiver so I could have a lot of distance across the top of the water. Check this out, it's coming back. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna zoom out so we can see the perspective of coming across. This is it, guys. Holy cow, we did it! We gotta get it driving out. Mo, is it gonna drive out, buddy? Yeah, don't knock down me. I won't knock you down, buddy. Let's see it coming out. Oh! You did it! Awesome, I feel great. <laughs> I feel amazing. I can't believe it. Jeremy guys, <laughs> Grand Tour guys. That was so hard and so worth it. We did it. I actually took all the foam, all the pool noodle foam out. I did use foam board on the inside. I redid all of the uh, electronics to make sure they were waterproof. Mini me there had his hoodie on to make sure he was nice and warm. And let me turn it around for you. This is actually the water cannon that I was using. <laughs> that is exactly how the pump works to remove the water from the back. 
you can see that I have very little water in the back because we were able to pump it out. We just couldn't see it um, on camera because it was too far away. But what do you think? Should we do a small victory lap? <laughs> yeah. One more? That was pretty incredible that we were able to cross. Look at that, totally floating. So there we go. Now we know that uh, constant speed was where it needed to be. It was the velocity that was hurting us last time. But you can see that we've got a good float going on. The pontoons are working well. Nice and stable. Coming back. Too fast there, starting to plow the water a bit. I cannot believe the similarities between uh, Jeremy Clarkson's toy boat and the Nissan uh, compared to uh, what I've got here as well. Like, you know, normally you test things in model size and then on the full size, but in this case, Jeremy Clarkson did it in full size just so I can do it in model down <laughs> one tenth size. So cool guys, thank you so much for tuning in being with us through all the episodes of the build videos and uh, for always uh, being there. Let's do one more. You want to do one more? <laughs> but first we gotta wave goodbye. Say bye everybody. Bye. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now subscribe, support the show. I knew it would do it. I knew it would do it. I knew it would do it. What do you think, fun? Love it! <laughs>